Good afternoon, everybody. It's Josh here from Looking for Games, and welcome to this week's edition of the Weekly Update. Before we jump into this week's schedule, last weekend we had our Warhammer 40k tournament. 14 players duked it out for 40k supremacy. Everyone gave it their best, but in the end, it came down to a difference of four points between first and second place. So congratulations to Carl, who was the winner of our first ever LFG championship belt and also won a year-long membership to Looking for Games. I also want to give a special thanks to our tournament organizers, John Snyder and Jeff He. It was an excellent event from start to finish, and they did a great job. Uh, also, a special thanks to the Baron of Dice, who provided some uh, prize support for the event. And in the description, we'll post a link to their website uh, so that you can check them out as well. Also, keep an eye on our calendar for this event, uh, for more uh, events like this uh, that we'll be running very soon. Okay, on to the update. Tonight is Friday Night Magic. Every Friday, we'd get together and play either draft or some form of constructed play. And tonight, we'll also be offering the Standard Showdown, which has some cool promos for joining us. Draft is a great format for new players or folks that just want to dip their toe into the latest set and see what it's all about, including the newest set, Outlaws of Thunder Junction. And Constructed is a great way to sharpen your skills or try out that new deck you just built. Play starts at 7 o'clock, so come join us for Friday Night Magic. Now, throughout the month of April, one of our Looking for Adventure DMs, DM Dave, has been holding Learn to Play sessions. Tomorrow is the last session for now, and uh, we're going back to the basics and learning from the beginning. Everything from character creation all the way to some dungeon master techniques. The entry is $5, and spots are available if you want to come and check out this last session of Learn to Play Dungeons and Dragons. Saturday night is our next session of Blood on the Clock Tower. Each month is a different game, a different theme, and a different demon that has the plans for the poor citizens of the small town of Ravenswood Bluff. This month we'll be playing a custom script called Leech of Distrust. Are you really poisoned, or are you just the drunk? Could you even be the marionette, or are you just being manipulated by your neighbors? Only the devil's advocate can truly be certain of their character and alignment, meaning most players can't even trust themselves. And when you can't trust yourself, you're just another victim. Can you beat the odds and save your town? Find out on Saturday when we play Blood on the Clock Tower. On Sunday, sorry. So the gang had so much fun playing Battle over Endor last month, we wanted to give it another go. So this Sunday's theme for X-Wing Epic Battles is Battle over Endor 2, Ewok Boogaloo. The scrappy band of rebels will once again be trying to take down the force field surrounding the still in construction Death Star before the rebel fleet arrives. But how did those Bothans really get those shuttle landing codes? Find out when we play Battle Over Endor 2 Ewok Boogaloo this Sunday. On Sunday, we, and also on Sunday, we kick off our next slate of Looking for Adventure with DM Dan presenting his next chapter of Kursk Outpost. And then on Thursday, with DM Pulp taking a well-deserved break, DM Zach is going to step in with a whole new story for our LFA team to enjoy. And then on Saturday, DM Dave presents his next chapter of Neverwinter Nights. Now you can scan the QR code on the screen. It'll take you to our Warhorn. You'll see all of the available games and sign up to play. So this month has been full of swashbuckling and shenanigans as we've explored games from the pirate theme, and the month of May lends itself automatically to one of my favorite themes, and that's sci-fi games. And we'll be kicking it all off with what some would say is just a given in the beginning of May. We'll be playing Outer Rim, Fantasy Flight's excellent pickup and delivery game where you will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy whether you're a notorious smuggler or a vicious bounty hunter will all be striving to be the most fame infamous in the galaxy perform jobs for the hut the empire or even the even the rebellion <laughs> no faction is off limits in our strive for infamy who will climb to the top of the trash compactor pile find out on wednesday for game night and here's a rundown for the games for the month of may some fun titles, including uh, Abduction, the weirdly strategic duck kidnapping game, or Fallout, because, well, Fallout, and uh, one game that has never made it before to our game night table on Mars. Uh, in the comments below, be sure to tell us which ones you're the most interested in and maybe tell us something we might not have thought of. And that is our calendar for May game night. 
Star Wars Unlimited Weekly Play continues to get a strong showing, and with some info about the next set coming soon, folks are really getting into this game. And did I mention we're the only store in the region that offers a draft format for Unlimited? Uh, we have some other plans as well. We'll be talking about that later in the update. So be sure to keep watching, but we've got weekly play on Thursday. New at LFG. If you joined us for our premiere last week and you had a chance to see some of the cool cards and synergies for this new set, Legacy of Destruction for Yu-Gi-Oh! The Trading Card Game, and now it's fully released for you to pick up. Check out the Shining Sarcophagus and some of the new monsters and ability in this new core set, Legacy of Destruction, available today. Now, last week, we announced the release of the new War Paints Fanatic from the Army Painter. And this week, we have the full line available, Speed Paints and the Color Primers. The only thing we aren't carrying just yet are the Airline uh, from, War, uh, from, excuse me, from the Army Painter. Uh, but we've now got the War Paints Fanatic, the uh, Speed Paints, and the Color Primers all available in stock in two beautiful, fully stocked uh, racks of paint. So I'm very excited to see just full racks of paint with things on them. It's, it's very exciting <laughs> and uh, shouldn't have to get that excited about a full rack of paint. But here we are. That's the world we live in. Anyway, <laughs> one of the unique things about this, uh, this system from, uh, from Army Painter and from War Paints uh, specifically is the uh, flexible triad system, which allows to, uh, which shows you a full range of a color scheme. And regardless of which ones you pick, uh, any three colors in that in that system, in that triad system, are going to work together uh, and look great for your models. That way, for example, if you paint all of your models a certain shade of blue, you can pick two other shades of blue to mix and match to your models. So the full line is available for sale as of today. The Army Painter, new at LFG. In the queue. And are we doing something for May the 4th? Of course we are. Next Saturday at 4 p.m. we'll be introducing the Twin Suns format to our gameplay for Star Wars Unlimited. If you're not familiar, Twin Suns is a multiplayer format that is similar to Magic the Gathering's Commander format. Now we'll be celebrating the 4th at 4 with this fun new way to play Star Wars Unlimited with some giveaways. And we'll be having some special giveaways for folks with the most creative Star Wars costumes. And don't act like you don't have them, because I know that's just not true. And if that wasn't incentive enough to stop by, we'll be making a special announcement for Unlimited. And if you're here for Twin Suns, you'll be the first to hear about it. So get those creative juices going, grab your decks, your lightsabers, and come join us for Twin Suns next Saturday. And also on Saturday at 5 o'clock, we'll be having a special Digimon tournament event hosted by two of our members, Scott and Carrie Barnes. Entry is $12, and with 12, that $12 is going to get you entry not only into the tournament, but also a special play mat. So you'll be able to check that out at 5 o'clock on Sunday, Saturday, excuse me, May the 4th. And of course, we got some titles coming in very soon, including Smug Owls from Runaway Parade Games, Crossbows and Catapults, some new stock from Star Wars Shatterpoint, Night Cage, The Shrieking Hollow, and I just got shipping confirmation on Adventure Party, a role-playing game, so we'll be probably getting that to our game night table very soon as well, and those are all coming in very soon. And that's our update for this week. If you enjoy our content, please like, subscribe, and tell others about us, because as I always say, you shouldn't be the only one to suffer. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.